So, uh, quick introduction. Um, I should have done this. Um, as I say, I've done all this already. I've been through all this in a couple of vlogs that I did already and then deleted them because you couldn't hear a thing. Um, I'm Philip. I'm 39. I'm from Bradford. Born and bred in Bradford. Been here all my life so far, which is no great achievement. Let me tell you, Bradford is not great. It's not a very nice place. It is full of areas that are not very nice. We're riding through a lot of them now. Uh, no offence to anybody who, uh, <laughs> if you live around here and you're watching, probably not. But uh, it's not nice. There are many not nice areas. And I live in one of them. Uh, unfortunately, for my insurance on my car and on my bike, it's quite expensive. Um, with, as I mentioned in one of my earlier uh, videos that I took in the garage on the Canon, um, There are conditions on my excess. Uh, regarding when the vehicle is close to my home address, uh, it must be secured and locked in the garage. And if it's not, there's a big chunk of uh, extra excess deducted if the, if the bike's stolen. And uh, yeah, the fuel gauge has just gone down from two blocks to one. I don't know exactly how much I get per each block at the moment, but I've done, from a full tank, I've done 107 miles, and it's six blocks on the LCD gauge when it's full. So it's worked its way down from six to one. I think one block is about 15, 20 miles, maybe. 20 miles, just over 20 miles, it would must work out. Five blocks to 107. So there you go, I think I've got about 20 miles, but I'm on the way to the garage, I'm gonna fill up. I'll stop this. Stop recording and do another one afterwards. Um, yeah, so we've mentioned Elk Phaser 1 um, and as I say, in, in some kind of order, I found his videos and YouTube channel when I was thinking about going for my lessons and test and what kind of bike I might want as a first bike. Um, XJ6 Diversion, which my brother's got and I had thought Good. It is a good first bike, I've no doubt about it. It could have been a good first bike for me, but it's not the bike I wanted. Uh, but it is very close to this, I think. It's a, it's a down-tuned version of the Phaser. The looks are slightly different. It's the looks in main that I didn't want on an XJ6. I don't mind the engine, I don't mind the engine power. What I wanted was the um, under the seat exhausts that come with this one and the front end, the fairing, the headlights that come on a phaser the rear hugger which is standard The rear, rear wheel hugger is standard on a phaser. Um, I just, I knew I wanted a phaser. That was it. Um, so, next mention, shout out, and huge thanks goes to uh, that man from Yorkshire. Brilliant. Uh, I'm sure most of the people who are going to watch this have subscribed to him. If you haven't, get out there and do it. 
uh, get subscribed he will entertain um, brilliant videos brilliant editing uh, amusing when they're meant to be amusing serious when they're meant to be serious and uh, yeah you'll enjoy them hopefully I do so I can only hope and guess that everybody else will uh, I've not met that man from Yorkshire whose name is Dave but had a couple of uh, conversations with him through YouTube chat and messages and uh, again another intelligent guy uh, sensible guy down to earth um, of a similar age to me <laughs> and I hope you don't mind me mentioning that I'm 39 uh, will be 40 in February less than a month to go 10th of February for me I will be the big 4 -oh, right on cue 40 excuse me just as we change to a 40 speed limit yeah 10th of February coming up I'm going to be 40 and I'm going to be out of the country going away with my better half and we're going to go stay with uh, Maz who's my girlfriend we're going to go stay with her brother in Italy who I haven't met yet uh, brother and sister-in-law David and Annie so we'll be in Italy um, I'm going to be there for two weeks in February so the bike's going to be home alone cold and lonely in the garage but it's going to have to get used to that um, yeah the roads are terrible with the, the weather as it is today they're still wet I don't want to test just how slippy or greasy they are but they are wet which the low sunshine is making visibility poor yeah thank you Mr Policeman I'll tell you one thing I'm surprised with since I got this bike I haven't been stopped by the police once yet and last last time I had a motorbike you couldn't if I did a 10 mile journey on a night just out riding for fun with nowhere to go just like I am now wasting time wasting fuel and enjoying the, the riding um, you, you couldn't do 10 miles without being stopped at least twice and in one night riding from Bradford uh, to Keithley and back I got three stopped three times and three separate producers there were three of us out that night all three of us stopped all three of us producers so we all three went home got our documents and went to the local police station this is the good old days when you you were given a, a slip to produce your documents we all turned up at the local police station uh, with three producers for three people nine lots of paperwork for them to do at the counter thank you very much if we don't choose to get them yeah so again back to it that man from Yorkshire subscribe if you're not already and uh, I've thanked him many times I believe in uh, messages to and fro but I'll take the opportunity now and say thanks Dave for all your help guidance support comments uh, shout outs and comments that you've given me oh, the one and the congratulations on uh, passing the test that you mentioned in the video uh, that was great uh, the day I passed you know you drive, drive to the test centre you, you go with it, your instructor from the riding school and when you pass you want everybody to know so you're there alone and all you can think is all the people that you want to tell how great it feels you've passed you've come out with a, a pass 
you've got your license after your, your final module two practical the, uh, practical test and you want everybody to know and uh, you come out alone unfortunately well I did came out alone and uh, had to wait well a couple of phone calls to, to Marion and text messages to people who've been involved um, then home to YouTube right I'm gonna fuel up so I'm gonna switch you off